Alright everybody, welcome back to another video, and in this video, I'm gonna be telling you everything you need to know about the brand new Halloween update. And right now, I am recording this an hour after the event came out, just because, oh my god, this event is so good. I'm having so much fun right now, so I'm gonna tell you what do you know. So yeah, let's get into it. First of all, let's go over all the little shops. Over here, the Hellas Corner item shop. You can get stack candies for one candy, the cool capsules, haunted tombs, which the next house you trick or treat will have a sanguine tinted doodle guarantee. Now these were actually really busted. They kept giving MC6 sanguines. So which of course had a nerf it. Which we all we were all gonna expect that. Of course you got your lesser chain tickets and the new items, the yo-yo. Once the holder uses a move that misses, the next turn the holder attacks last but cannot miss. So that's cool. Then we have the nesting doll. Once per battle, after the user summons to weather, they pivot the mount. I don't know what that is, but that's cool. Of course you got the haunted um the Halloween tin brush and you got Halloween tombs at your back. So they're not limited after all, which is pretty cool. <laughs> next, I'll be going to this person over here. Velvy and they sell oh my god my favorite part of the events the titles the colors and new particles Okay, we have the scary creepy haunted ghastly fearsome sinister titles and this I don't know like, like a vampire title Then we have the gooey blood moon full moon candy corn spooky ectoplasm colors all look really good. I like this one the most. Then we have the Picture Squeak Pumpkins, Collection of Candy Particles, Telekinesis, Gas and Ghosts, Sinister Skulls, Hungry Bats, and Vampire Bats Particles. I'm going to have so much fun collecting candy. Next, we have Wish C, the man himself, who will sell you all the new Halloween skins. Now, they are currently, if I believe I'm correct, I think it's 32 new ones? Yeah, 32 new Halloween skins. I'm right here. All look good. The most expensive one being the Arachnia being 1.6k. Now, I am so happy. You know why? Back in Halloween 2022, the most expensive skin was Halloween Chronos being 2,000 candy. So, I'm glad Arachnia was 1,600. Also, here up on screen right now are the non Halloween skins. This cool Scoplet, uh, Floxy, uh, Hangry Fist and Chrono Skin, all pretty cool. All right, next up we have our skinning decks. Woo! So yeah, of course there are skins for fast skins. You get 800 gems. 10 skins you get a new doodle. I'll show you that in a minute. You 15 skins you get a new Awakening Core Lizard. 20 skins a new um Halloween Mount. 50 uh 25 skins you get the new Awakening Crowdterra. And for those skins, unique Arachniac. So up on the screen right now is what Awaken Core Lizard looks like. I don't have it right now, so here's what it looks like. Also, up on the screen is what the alt rune stone for Cryo Terra is. Up on the screen looks pretty cool. Now, let's go over the new doodle, which is called Zombuppy. This is a really cool doodle, and uh, it's evolution method. I was told about one of the uh, uh, moderators in the Discord. It's everyone's favorite method you know what that means it's friendship because of course it is so yeah that's why mine is level five and of course get it up to a uh, max friendship and also do not worry someone showed us the what its evolution looks like it evolves here's an open screen right now i don't remember the name of it up on top of my head but here it looks on my screen it looks pretty cool the doodle concept is really cool now, let me just wait let me just check real quickly oh, what the hell is it on the decks where is it? Oh, here, here, here it is. There we go. Uh, so both their uh, basic beast type, which is pretty cool. All right, let's wrap this up and head into oh, uh, the new code, Hollow Gems for 300 gems because because of, of the shutdown for the nerf of the tombs. Okay, guys, so. I have to re-record this section of the video. I was doing a little bit of research, and apparently, this is the new Mythic. So yeah, yesterday, Wish announced it's going to be a new Mythic. I was like, okay, I'll hunt for it. This is the new Mythic. So it evolves by friendship. It has to be confirmed. It does evolve by friendship into its evolution. But it's the new Mythic. It is the new Mythic. Oh, what the hell? Like, okay. So, let me go over what I had to go over in the section previously. So obviously, Arachniac has returned, it is a 1 in 1,000 chance in the wild, and the new doodle being Zompuppy, it is a 1 in 1, it, wait no, it is a 1 in 500 chance to be found in the wild. So yeah, 1 in 500 chance for finding this little guy. Again, does it well by happiness, so get your friendship ripping, go to the IE battle, bot battler, and have fun with that. Alright, so, 
let's go over uh trigger treating the main mechanic that's in this event so every time you go into a door uh, there's one of three things can happen you can knock on the door and someone will just give you candy around the one to five uh one to six piece ratio or someone will ask you if you want to battle so this mechanic is from the i think the original one and from the winter wonderland events where basically a uh, certain uh, trainer will ask you to battle if it's higher if it's like the difficulties were like one out of 10 it's gonna be easy easy but less reward if it's 10 to 10 it's gonna be really hard but more reward so yeah right now for me what works best is using my humbiscus which is level 60 max attack with wind shear it is busted now of course there's gonna be the po poison types the more defensey uh doodles but again erica doesn't do well for me at least look one shot perfectly all right now all this game right now is Arachniac's uh unique which is really cool a red and white it's awesome <sighs> We have not found bump puppies uni uh, bump uh, how do, what do you call this thing? Zomp Bumpy is unique. We have not found its unique yet, but here's it, its misprint up on screen right now. <laughs> now, the other the kind we knock on the door is you find a sanguine tinted doodle. Now, which has given us some of the odds. So after the nerf of the haunted tombs, a hidden trade chance from the doors is a one in five. The misprint chance is a one in ten. Max start chance is one in four or one of one if it's a misprint. He said he'll post the full the full list tomorrow. Event will just have a one in one thousand two hundred chance of appearing at doors. So good luck. There are seven different tiers of rarities for Halloween doors: common, uncommon, runic, rare. Epic, legendary, and event legendary, and he said he'll post the chances and which those are in each list tomorrow. So the runic ones, it's pretty self explanatory to what all the runes are gonna be in the runic category. So yeah. Now of course, if your main goal is to collect candy, always accept the battles. If your main course, if your main uh, goal is to get uh sanguine to the doodles, what I recommend is just use the haunted tombs. You have a better you, or it's always guaranteed if you use a haunted tomb. Um, you need cash tricks up on screen right now. It is basically just bonbon. If you don't know, if you don't know who bonbon is, then it is this uh, guy over here or girl. I don't know who you are, but yeah, it looks like this on my screen. And look, in the first recording of this section, I totally forgot about unique uh, sombra. But here it is up on screen in its full glory. Uh, so yeah. Now I think this is everything you have guys have to know about this update. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it off here because last section. When I left recording this section, it was like 10 minutes. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next one very soon. Peace.